के संकेता वेरी फास्ट वाउ यस डॉक्टर मनोज अमेजिंग अमेजिंग क्राउड यस यस रिचा यस डॉक्टर श्रीकांत अमेजिंग अमेजिंग डॉक्टर दिलप्रीत सिंह नीलम डॉक्टर काव्य कवेरी लेट्स गो फॉर नेक्स्ट वन वेरी डॉक अबाउट द सेमीकंडक्टर इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट लेआउट डिजाइन सेमीकंडक्टर इंटीग्रेटेड सर्किट लेआउट डिजाइन व्हाट इज द टर्म फॉर प्रोटेक्शन फॉर दैट यस डॉक्टर कावेरी यस 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 मालविका परफेक्ट 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 वाउ लेट्स गो फॉर द नेक्स्ट वन वेरी डॉक अबाउट कॉपीराइट वेरी डॉक अबाउट कॉपीराइट what is the term for protection for copyright no it is not lifetime kaveri no 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 it is not lifetime yes dr manoj you got it right wow the life of the author plus 60 years after his death amazing dr manoj yes dr ravindra it is for life of the author plus 60 years after after his death yes not equal to plus ankita amazing amazing let's go for the next one What is the term for protection for industrial design? What is the term for protection for industrial design? Yeah, you can say in like ten plus five. Yes, Doctor Kaveri, you you made it perfect. So initially it is for ten years, then for the five years you can get an extension. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Yes, Doctor Manish, perfect, perfect. Wow. Uh, next thing we can go for plant breeders' right. What is the term for protection for plant breeders' right? There are two different categories in that. That's a hint to you. There are two different categories under plant uh, breeders' right. Yes, vines and trees for twenty-five years, and uh, any other plant then it is for twenty years. Yes, come on. Yes, let's go for the next one. When you talk about when you talk about your uh, trademark, the term for protection for trademark. Term for protection for trademark. No, you cannot say lifetime, but but say it. Key yes, it is an indefinite period. But after every ten years, you have to renew it. Lifetime is what. So tell me which IPR was for lifetime. You cannot say trademark for yeah. Which IPR uh, like came under lifetime category? Which IPR came under lifetime category? Yes, yes, Ankita. Yes, Monica. Yeah. It was traditional knowledge and trade secrets. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Last question to you: Which IPR came under category of uh, life having a, a, a term of protection of ten years, but it could be renewed after every ten years? Having a term of protection for ten years initially, but it can be renewed for an indefinite period. Period for ten years. But it could be renewed for an indefinite period. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow. So with this, uh, we'll go. Yeah, yeah. Amazing, amazing. So I think, I think within five minutes, uh, amazing crowd. With this five minutes, we got it. We what are the types of IPR? And what are the terms for protection for each of the IPRs for it? So there are nine types, and you already know the terms of protection for each of the IPRs. So let's go with the objective. The point is that okay, why we should do for it? What is the advantage for it? After putting all the hard work for it, what is the advantage for it? The first point is to give the recognition to the creator of the work. Simple as that. That's the golden statement. You have to give recognition to the creator of the work. Every nation gives recognition to the creator, so as to motivate him to perform better. He is rewarded in such a way so that he can enjoy monopoly and economic benefits over his work. He can enjoy economic benefits by licensing it, or he could. You can talk about selling his invention. Other objective is to attract the foreign investment and transfer of technology. If new idea and innovation are created in nation, then it might attract the foreign investors. Simple. That's the that's the point. Let me purchase a technique, innovative technology. Also, my dear friends, they may offer the use of their technology in exchange of our technology. It is also important to maintain harmony in the people of different kind of skills. Innovation in every field is rewarded with the protection as the work of innovation 
in any field is equally time consuming and laborious so different kind of ipr is to protect the right of artist the farmer the technical people the traders and so on this is not only important in maintaining harmony but also for recognizing for the work of the intellect in different fields ipr can also enhance the trade and investment in the country this is obvious by now the development of technology and innovative work would enhance the trade in a particular nation simply economic status will also improve we can also take benefits from the international trade opportunities the grant of any right acts as an inspiration my dear friend or as a catalyst you can say for further invention will ultimately contribute to the technological development of a particular nation like as everyone needs recognition and reward for the creation so for your hard work and for your efforts so that is the objective for ipr that is the that is the reason they are giving it for your term of protection is so long so that you can enjoy this, you can enjoy the benefits over it so now with this so let's go for each and every ipr which we have seen it in the previous slide okay so let's start with with the first thing first of your ipr that is a patent patent is a grant of some exclusive privilege right or you can talk about authority you can say given by the government of the country to either it can be one or more individual for limited period of time so tell me my dear friends what is the limited period of time what is it that means that what is the term of protection for patent over here so it is saying for a limited period of time in exchange of disclosing the invention so tell me what is the limited period of time for a patent like we can talk about the inventor has monopoly right in a particular period of time when he can sell or import or use his invention according to his own wish for example uh, you can take an example like uh, in india a patent is granted for dash years that is you already answered it for 20 years so all these years an inventor can rule over his invention and can use it in every possible way because he is the owner by using in every possible way i mean he can license his invention to anyone can assign his invention to anyone for example uh, let's take one of the best example like ibm ibm license technology to many dealers right and earn money from it basically like ibm earns royalty from them we can take an example of patented uh, patent of apple new technology like shake to charge right and we can also take an example of medicines about combiflem a uh, patented medicines and so on so that is the beauty about it okay so with this with this stuff with this the few content of patent uh, uh let's have a few mcqs on the patent right away okay so we'll go for the next two questions will be displayed in front of you you'll be getting 15 seconds to answer it everything is timed okay you have to answer into a chat room over here just answer the options over here okay so here we go for it yes it's the same 20 years what protects over here the property created by the inventors a b c d e what's your answer 15 seconds you'll be having for every question that's it next question what's your answer you can answer question number 1 the answer is this question number 2 the answer is this so avoid confusion in the chat room definitely the correct answer would be displayed but the correct answers are so when you talk about the inventors my dear colleagues it is for patent inventors is, is basically for patent not for any other idea and this is we have already answered it many times amazing amazing crowd so let's go for the next type of ipr that is a trademark so the trademark enables a consumer to identify the product by a certain symbol this will help them to distinguish the product and service 
from one trader to the another trader. Trade mark helps to get goodwill in the market. As you all know, the famous McDonald's in which you often see a joker kept outside the store and the yellow color which way they write the McDonald's, right? You can easily understand that this is McDonald's store and you will get a good quality food over here. This is how trademark protects goodwill and the quality of the food. And it also helps the consumer in identifying the trademark. Trademark can directly appear on the product like uh, you can talk about slice bottle. You can see the trademark logo for it, a Coca-Cola bottle, a ringtone of Nokia, MI, punch line of Lay's like uh, Palbanai Magical. And there are few trademark, few trademark in which it becomes generic, like Xerox. Xerox was registered as a trademark as an electrophotographic popping machine and apparatus for using powder images in 1952. Used widely in this kind of popping technology. First, reach a point in 1970 that the trademark almost become generic and descriptive because of the many people refer like photocopy or photostat as Xerox. So there are also few trademarks which become generic as also. Trademark has 45 different classes, my dear friends. Okay, so class one to 35 is specially for the company who de who are dealing into goods category. So they can register a trademark under the category from class 1 to 35. And we are talking about class 36 to 45. It is especially for the service segment. So any company which are into service provider, so they can register the trademark under the class of 36 to 45. So that is an overview. There are total 45 class. And class 1 to 35 is for the goods category. Class 36 to 45 is for the service segment. And the term for trademark, you already knew it. Okay. So with this, uh, with the few knowledge about the trademark, let's go with the few kind of MCQ based question for it. So there are the few uh, famous logos which you all already seen that is the trademark logos just for your references. So you'll be having only one question. That question will be displayed for 15 seconds. Uh, you just have to answer into a chat room. That question number one, what is your answer for it? Best of luck. Here we go for it. That's the question for you. You can answer into a chat room. That is A, B, C, D. You can answer into a chat room. No, Selva answered D. No, it is not D. Sanjay sir also answered D. No, it is not D. Uh, it doesn't depend on commercial, uh, like on the commercial value of it. Never, never, never. It doesn't depend on that. My dear, my dear colleague, it, the, it, 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 the term of protection has already been defined by the government of India. We have already seen it before that. Okay. So what is the, uh, uh, like the commercial value for it? What is the infringement value for it? It doesn't depend on that at all. The term is fixed. It won't change. So that is, you already know it. Many people have answered it. No one. Okay. So um, people like with this, after understanding the trademark, you can also like uh, whenever, whenever uh, you can also speak to your institute if they have not uh, trademarked their logo, they can do it with this. And you know it. There are how, there are how many classes in trademark? Can you can someone answer it? How many classes in trademark? Forty-five. Wow, Monica, very fast. Done. So the forty-five is divided into two different classes. One is for service. One is for goods. Okay. So tell me the what is the range for the goods category? Wow, Ankita. Wow. And what is the range? What is the range for the goods and service category? Both the both the categories? Amazing, amazing, Dr. Shikanta. Subjit, wow. Wow, Sudesh. Varun. Varun is 36 to 45. Yeah, I think there was a typo mistake. Done. Appreciate. Amazing, Vinita. Amazing, Dr. Rajendra Sir. Amazing, amazing. Yes. So you can also tell your uh, this thing, uh, your institute. If they are not registered, they can definitely go for the registration under this category. Okay. And you know the term for protection, so you can guide them easily. So the next one is your IPR is your industrial design. So let's start with that. It protects the distinctive appearance of a product. These rights is only concerned, very, very important and golden statement for industrial design. The right is only concerned with the look of an article. 
only the look of an article not as how they function so industrial design is all about the look of an article not as as how they function you can take a real life example like a mm -hmm. yeah, for sports bike you like or you can talk about the floral design of bed sheet handicraft manufactured products design of coats diamond jewelry and so on now like industrial design can be a three dimensional form three dimensional form like a uh, shape of a car it can be a two dimensional form such as the ornamentation color or color combination of a chocolate wrapper and so on it can also be a combination of three dimensional and two dimensional how uh, suppose a famous uh, mercedes car has an elegant 3d design and it's having a unique color so so mercedes can protect under the industrial design in both the categories three dimensional plus two dimensional these features should be judged only by the eye that's it industrial design adds commercial value for the product design makes product good looking and attractive so good looking finished product must be appealing for the customer so that he prefers buying that over the boring design right we, we like we never buy a cell phone that has all the complete features everything everything but it is not good looking right industrial design are important for adding looks factor for the product so it is important in fact it is very important to enhance the design of your product okay so that is all about your industrial design i think you know you know the term for industrial design already so let's not discuss that with the with the brief overview about the industrial design let's go a few mcq question on industrial design so you'll be having two questions over here okay every question will be displayed for 15 seconds so you can answer into a chat room with question number 1 what is your answer question number 2 what is your answer okay every question will be displayed only for 15 seconds you have to answer within that my dear colleague okay so let's go for it for industrial design best of luck here is your question next question you can you can write the question number 1 what's your answer question number 2 what's your answer right correct answers are yes it includes everything mr kumar no it doesn't include only the pattern the feature configuration everything 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 which you see by the by by your naked eye right everything is included for it and the second question every event went right for it that is no doubt about it the first question was little trickier that's it so with this we'll go for the copyright where we can really copyright our research work our our, our reference books uh, whatever we if we are writing some reference book for any of the topics our literature dramatic any story any novel so everything comes under it uh, let's have with an example like uh, i love music so i listen to fm every day i hear a songs of arijit singh sonu nigam rahul vidya ar rahman all the singers have copyright for a piece of work done by them then the broadcasting rights are also given to these fm broadcasting organization so the copyright is concerned with the protection of original literature artistic work uh we can talk about copyright substant in original dramatic uh musical cinematography films and so on copyright act was formed in back 1957 my dear friend but the copyright act came into effect in january 1958 the next year immediately in january we can take examples of copyright that uh, it is that it is a right of a performer we can say about the famous actor like amitabh bachchan has a right to control his performance given by him in any stage show then the right of broadcasting organization here we can take example of like fm channel like fm gold red fm and so on they have the right for broadcasting and rebroadcasting of their program be ar rahman songs mfsn painting and so on copyright is often called as bundle of rights ab now we'll see ki why why it is called bundle of rights the name is given since its main work is to protect 
the unauthorized use but but also adds several other rights to the list of the owner author gets the right of reproduction in various forms such as printed publication or we can talk about sound recording form public performance can be done uh, such as novel can be converted into theater play uh, one of the famous would would be we can take an example there was a, a movie which we saw few years back right it was two states it was basically based on the novel which was written by chetan bhagat right so dharma production have to had to take a copyright concern from him that is the reason he could also see his name on the banners and posters on two states movie so that is one of the example like conversion of novel into a theater play or conversion of novel into a movie uh, then the recording of the work uh, can be made in the form of compact disc uh, cassette video tapes broadcasting could be done by radio cable satellite and its translation could also be done in another language one of the famous example one of the highest grossing movie of indian movie that is three idiots right so it was a when it was converted into chinese it was the highest grossing movie in china indian movie or you can talk about the adaptation such as the conversion of novel into screenplay and so on so all these rights can be enjoyed by the owner of the work hence the name bundle of rights is justified for kind of ipr that's a but your copyright so with this copyright with a brief view about the copyright let's go a few question on copyright so we'll be having two questions over here my dear colleagues okay every question will be displayed for 15 seconds for it so you have to answer into your chat room just question number your answer question number your answer question number your answer we will be having question for all the types of ipr only few like among 9 6 to 7 types of ipr will be having it best of luck here is the question it's tricky little tricky let's see who gets it right little tricky next question number 2 it's for someone who was very attentive during the session of copyright the correct answers are the first one many of them have gone wrong <laughs> an unpublished book yes it can be it can go under copyright a published work cannot go cannot be go, cannot go under copyright right second one like everyone went right with it the first one you have to play condition apply like it, it should be a plagiarism free but obvious for it that is understood but make sure an un unpublished work can be done or if it is published then you cannot republish it in any form so with this uh, we'll move ahead with the next type of ipr that is a geographical indication so let's understand this when you talk about a geographical indication basically it is a tag notice stating that the given product originates in a given geographical area or product is manufactured in a given geographical area okay so uh, before like going ahead with geographical indication i would like to request all all the participants uh, tell me ki uh, tell me two things one is uh, what is a native place and tell me one thing one thing ki what is some what is really famous in your native place either it could it could be a product either it could be any sweets either it could be any fruits anything tell me your native place along with that tell me what which which product is really famous of your native place so i just need everything all your all your information into the chat room trust me it will really help you to understand geographical indication uh similarity index and in copyright uh, it depend, uh, it is completely to the ipr concerned firstly uh, when you talk about the sir, research papers or publication book the research papers it is completely through 10% even they have started using tonit and when you talk about the published book it is for 15% condition it is if it is going under the copyright segment of government of india no it doesn't get automatically copyright no no it is not like copyright is something like you can write by since it is it is your original work you can write in copyright this is copyrighted this content is copyrighted to ankita but the kind of but if someone is using your content 
you don't have any official right or official paper where you can put a case against them right unless and until you don't register under government of india paper so if you want a good infringement suit or you want to fight your battle legally you have to you want to like legally fight with it it is always better to register your ipr so you have a proof with it okay so uh, my question was like i i need uh, one one is your native place and which which product uh, it could be any manufactured handicraft and so on any product any sweet any fruits which is very really famous at, at your native place so with this i'll continue the tax is given to the product for three things one is the for quality characteristics and reputation these feature can be found if the same product is manufactured or grown at some other place these right is applicable for manufactured or originated goods these characteristics or quality may be due to major factors like natural factors or we can say method of manufacturing now the natural factors can be soil regional climate it could be temperature it could be moisture it could be so on for it uh, for example nagpur oranges in maharashtra very famous uh, uh, the method of manufacturing can include specialization in the product or we can talk about the preparation method like sri patu laddu geographical indication uh, also like it promotes goods also as well as the producer of a particular region so that the consumer will be sure about the quality of originated or the manufactured product like for example like you already said ki what are the uh, like famous uh, stuff which belongs to a native place right for example it is already been it is already been tagged by the government of india or by tagged by someone else under government of india okay uh, uh suppose this this is a season for mangoes so basically i'll i'll talk about maharashtra uh mangoes is really famous for uh, there is a place district known as kokan in maharashtra so alfonso mangoes is very famous from there okay if someone want to like uh, get, uh, let's supply the mangoes to us or someone want to supply a mango to european country okay so anyone anyone coming from there okay they will look after it ki what are the special features in mangoes and what is the best version of mangoes so they will look at the yes the kokan is one of the region where you get a very good quality of mangoes okay but if a person someone who doesn't belong to kokan and if he is producing mangoes somewhere else okay and if and if and if he is supplying a mango give in telling them ki no this mango belongs to kokan because they won't be coming to your farm right you will be you you will be supplying it to them right so uh, if he supply the mangoes in 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 by saying them yes this mangoes belong to kokan this mangoes is alfonso mangoes so in that case like uh, he's not he's not doing le legal thing right so in that case he is infringing the right of the kokan people so in that case there are two different people who can really who can really file a case against him one is one is the registered proprietor and the second one is the authorized user of, of in kokan the registered proprietor and the authorized user because what what happens my dear friends this tax is basically given so that uh, the import export uh, gives a highly advantage over it if you can supply your good good manufactured products over there and even they can go supply the good manufactured products or uh, over here right then that way it really helps out because if anyone wants to buy a cotton right in india from india in fact so we'll definitely go ki where is the cotton being manufactured he won't go to a seller and he will go where exactly it is being manufactured so that is the advantage of geographical tax it helps you in the uh, economic benefits of your business like one of the few, uh, few of the famous example for geographical indication we could take like uh, darjeeling tea we can talk about bikaner bhujia uh, agra petha nagpur orange kashmiri pashmina shawl we can talk about lucknowi chicken craft kanchipuram silk sari so these are the very few famous geographical tax where like it helps you in the economic benefits of the people right simply like we said ki yes uh, in gujarat if you if you want to purchase a very huge sari like if you want to purchase a sari if you want to purchase something for your marriages and gujarat is one of the one of the biggest market in cloth like very close to maharashtra if i'm talking about even delhi is one of the biggest market for it but for a shopping for sari even gujarat has a huge market so that is a way of uh, a place is very famous for a particular product so this is like something uh, a brief overview about your geographical tag you can see the number of states the number of tag which has been registered this this chart is very old like 2017 it has al already been revised so this is a sample example which you can really have a look so this is the way it really works 
the, the, the more the tags you can really benefits your people so like you can really work out if you if you feel in your native place if this if this thing is very very famous if this thing is very unique from the other people uh, if this thing is something uh, this fruit is something uh, really unique because of soil climate over there and if it is not having a gi tag you can really work for your gi tag in your particular area one of, one of the booming sector at this moment agriculture so i'll just have a look uh, with a few questions what people were having it uh, what is the procedure uh, ankita I, I will be only giving a brief about it because uh, if i need to talk about the procedure for every of the ipr it will take at least 3 hours for me to uh, invest for it okay i'm just giving you a brief about all the ipr then next coming one hour i'll be going into depth for patent so i'll i'll just i'll be giving you a brief about all the nine types of ipr then for patent will be going into depth so that is the way i can really support you because every ipr would really take uh, almost 3 to 2 hours for it but don't worry ankita i have prepared a complete list of faq list so that we can all your doubts could be clear don't worry that is totally my responsibility as a present presenter okay this is a very very huge topic but trust me i'll i'll make sure all your doubts related to the uh, way of filing the related to form filling and uh, this thing the fees for it for all the nine types of ipr the basic important questions have been uh, already made into in terms of faq there are 121 faqs have been made already for all the nine types of ipr so the majority of the doubts will be will get cleared for it so don't worry uh, for the filing procedure ankita trust me for patent i'll give you the complete detail i'll try my best to sum up major majority most important stuff into into that one hour ankita okay sure sir i'll i will so that's the basic overview of, about the geographical indication so with this uh, we can move forward so we'll be having two questions on geographical indication every question will be displayed for 15 seconds you have to an answer into a chat box best of luck here is it your question number 1 just answer question number 1 then you answer question number 1 then you answer it will be much easier for us who can initiate an action if there is something wrong with it little tricky question few of them have uh, gone wrong with the uh, question number 2 so it is handicraft food stuff manufactured all of the above everything is included under geographical indication only the registered proprietor and the authorized user government doesn't do it my dear friends unless and until if we don't uh, approach the government how will they take action against it okay so these are the two people who will be taking who will be filing a suit uh, to the government of india the registered proprietor and the authorized user with this will go will go for the trade secrets for it uh, basically like the this is an information that you do not want to the competitor to know about simple the law generally protects not a secret formula and design but even simple facts such as the feature that might be introduced in the next iphone or am iphone or a samsung or which country a business intend to go into the next then we can go we can go into the famous trade secret like uh, kfc McDonald's, Coca-Cola, Google, because the information that is used in the operation of a business, and once that trade secret is revealed, the value of trade secret also goes away. The value here is the economic advantage over the others. So your competitors will copy the secret recipe or the formula or the trick to make the business successful. Like uh, we can talk about like uh, uh, McDonald's, right? So if you eat a McDonald's in Delhi. If you eat a McDonald's in Chennai, if you eat a McDonald's burger in uh, Jammu, if you eat a McDonald's burger in Gujarat, if you eat a McDonald's burger in Maharashtra, the taste is same. So that is something that is the uniqueness in the recipe. So if they register, if they register the recipe, so they have to put everything in on paper, right? 
So if they put it on paper, so it is very difficult for them to preserve the content. Like they, how to stop the people from copying it? That's the reason they don't they don't register. That's the reason we said that under trade secret there is no act, no rules. It is being kept secret by the owner. So it is ultimately irresponsible. That's the reason we are saying it. It is lifetime. One of one of the famous famous example, very very oldest brand, very huge brand that is Coca Cola. The secret is kept in the bank of the World of Bank in Atlanta. The secret recipe is kept. If if this is something comes out, then the economic benefit of Coca Cola will straight away go out, right? Someone else will start generating the same test with the as as that of Coca Cola. So that is the advantage, oh, like economic advantage for that com particular company. When you talk about your trade secret, with this we'll have only one question. We'll have 15 seconds for that to answer into the chat room. So here, here we go for it. Here is it. One of the trickier question for this comes the initial one hour. The question is what is not valid? The question is what is not valid? Dr. Kaveri, amazing, Ankita, amazing, amazing, amazing. Wow. So that is the, the answer was the confidential information is property. So since we are saying it, there is no rules, no act when you talk about trade secrets. That means it cannot be registered. It cannot be registered. It is not a property then. So it cannot we cannot say it as a confidential property, right? So it cannot be termed as a property. So that is an invalid statement for us. It can be kept as a confidential by the by the concerned person. Okay. When you term as a property that is IPI, it has to be registered under uh, under some act, right? There is no act, no rules when you talk about that. That's the reason that statement is completely invalid. Other statements were completely valid for it. So next thing we'll be will be going with the traditional knowledge. Uh, with the start of this, uh, I'll I I uh, before explaining it to you, uh, we'll start. There, there is some medicinal knowledge which everyone have got from the elders, from the grannies, from the grand grandparents, whenever they visit the native place or whenever they visit the elders, right? So tell me ki, what is the traditional knowledge or something which you got from your grandparents, from your parents for it. If you can mention that, trust me, you will get complete knowledge about the traditional knowledge over here. Anjali, very simple. Uh, so any new technology which is being coming, well, like which is which, which have to be launched, right? So that even that can be kept as a trade secret. Like uh, Apple, Apple have already developed a technology which they will be launching it after 15 years. That has been one of the article being stated in the technical magazine. To be very precise, they said after 14 years, what we want to launch it, they are already ready with it. So that is something they have kept as a trade secret. If they put it on paper, right? So there is a very high chance like people will a little bit modified and they'll produce some similar technology to it, right? So that is something, uh, one of the example of trade secrets in technical related stuff. Yes, already people have answered it, wow. So when you talk about your trade secret, the knowledge is gained and used by the people over generations, as you know. These types of IPR is given to knowledge that is, is common in particular community, like the knowledge of turmeric, or you can talk about the use of turmeric for wounds, then this knowledge is carried from one generation to another. Knowledge is very, very difficult to preserve in the form of a proof. We all know that India has a rich traditional knowledge that is passed verbally from one another. And for that, the Indian government have taken an initiative for developing traditional knowledge digital library. Traditional knowledge digital library that is TKDL. TKDL. That's a website. Whenever you have a time, you can visit that website also. This project was initiated in 2001. India fought a revocation Basmati patent also, which was granted by the USPTO. TKDL, that is Traditional Knowledge Digital Library, my dear friends, is a collaborative project of Council of Scientific 
and Industrial Research, that is CSIR. Then the Ministry of Science and Technology and the Ministry of Health, Family, Welfare. This project was implemented at CSIR. Now, if we few examples of traditional knowledge uh, could be like uh, use of Tulsi, neem tree, turmeric in uh, turmeric in India, and we can also talk about like uh, Ayurvedic medicines, the use of aloe vera in removing pimples, and this is all this is mentioned in TKDL website. That is traditional knowledge digital library. Like TKDL, whenever you visit a TKDL website, whenever you have a chance for it. Uh, the the complete website is basically broadly classified into agriculture, fisheries, health, horticulture, and forestry, and so on. So these are the major categories which you will find out. So whenever you have a whenever you have a time for it, you can really visit. People who are really fascinated with this knowledge, they can really go for this category as well. With this, we'll move to the next category that is your plant readers, right? So when you talk about your plant readers, my dear friends. It is about developing a large because you know that in India, in Indian breeders develop large number of trees varieties that are freely available to others for exploitation. But the plant breeders' rights are also known as the protection of plant varieties and farmers' rights. The protection of plant varieties and farmers' rights Act 2001, like which protects the interest of the breeders as well as the farmers. These rights safeguard the interest of farmers of Indian. It is an incentive for farmers and breeders for the development of improved plant varieties of agriculture, horticulture, and forestry. Like you can, uh, you can export it, you can import it, uh, you can offer it for sale, you can sell it. Any sort of marketing we can do with all of the above. We can, go on, we can stock it for any of the above purpose. For example, like commercial strawberries, pineapple, and so on. So that is all about your plant breeders. We have already seen there are two categories in terms of plant breeders when you talk about the uh, term of protection. There are two questions. Oh, yes, Sanjay Deshmukh have answered it. Use of turmeric, Dr. Neeraj have answered it. Varun has answered it. Shweta, yes, use of kada, yes. Vinita, Dr. Manoj Kumar, yes. Make sure to improve the memory, okay. Use of honey and lemon for weight loss, yes, Varun. Dr. Rajan, uh, yes, that's your answer to you. That's a question to you, sorry. That's a second question to you. It is followed by the first question. The correct answers are amazing, amazing. Yes, it can be beaten. It is the protection of plant varieties and farmers' right act in 2001. And the last one, which we'll be saying it, that is a semiconductor integrated circuit layout design. So the creation of a circuit and its layout design have been given a separate category of protection under IPR. As smaller the size of the integrated circuit, less the material needed for its construction, and smaller the space needed to accommodate. These conditions require lots of efforts by the technical people, and has protection of these efforts have become important. It provides the protection of for semiconductor integrated circuit and the layout for this circuit. It plays a significant role in the advancement of technology, especially for electronics and information technology. Integrated circuits are used in all data processing equipment like mobile phones, laptop, watches, radios, washing machines, and so on. Semiconductor integrated circuits are often called as microchip or chip. It can function as timer, counter, microprocessor, and so on. It can be of digital or it could be of analog. Integrated circuit layout design refers to a 3D characteristic of elements and the interconnection of integrated circuit for example the layout of transistors and other circuits and so on that is a brief about your the last type of your integrated circuit
so with this we have seen all the nine types of ipr okay so first thing i would like to just mention one single point which you got from every of the ipr okay so let's start with we'll have, we'll have a recap with the first session then we will then we'll be going for the next session with a break of 2 minutes okay so let's start with the patent what tell me one single point what you understood with the patent one point on patent Yes, Anjali, I can really help you out. Uh, I, I'll just share my details with you at the end of the uh, webinar. Then we can connect on it. Surely. So because of the time limit, I have few things to discuss with the crowd. So things which are there into the PPT, I'll discuss with it. If not, we can discuss it later on in my mail ID. Definitely, Anjali, I'll help you out. So Peyton, someone is saying here. Apart from term, don't mention me term of protection. We have already revised the term of protection. Leave term of protection. Tell me anything apart from term of protection. For patent, yes, and it is created by the inventor. Next thing, for trademark. Anything about trademark? Anything about trademark? Yes, it is sign, symbol, word. Amazing, amazing, Dr. Kaveri, Sanjay, Sudesh, amazing. Anita, yes, a sign or symbol. Yes, a characteristic. Yes. Amazing, amazing. Anything about industrial design? Yes, logo. Dilpreet Singh. Yes, you are right. Yes, Udanshu. Logo. Yes, Neeraj. Anything about industrial design? Yes, Dr. Shrikan. Yes, industrial design. It could be a two dimension. It could be very nice, Veta. Very nice. Amazing, Sanjay sir. Yes, two D, three D. Yes, amazing. Dilpreet. Yes, design. So uh, my question is to you: In industrial design, uh, does the uh, the functionality really matters to us. How is it functioning it? Yes or no? So what it matters in industrial design? What is what is the golden statement for industrial design? Wow, wow, amazing, amazing. Yes, the appearance, the looks. Wow. Let's go for the next three. So let's talk about uh, something about trade secrets, my dear friend. Let's talk about something about trade secrets. Something about trade secret. Okay. Something about trade. Yes. No need to register. Feature plan. Yes, it can be. Business related, customer list, manual. Yes. Model, prototype. Yes. Yes, 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 Dr. Kaveri, amazing. Let's talk about something about geographical indication, GI. Something about geographical indication. Yes, Dr. Srikanth, amazing. Model, future plan, prototype, amazing. Sir. Raj, lifetime, yes, yes, Malvika, yes. Something about uh, geographical indication. Yes, it is related to the place feature. Yes, Nagpur oranges, yes. Given product from a look from a location here, from a particular location. Famous article of a location. Yes, it could be, and it could be tagged as well. Yes, authorized authorized user and the register proprietor have the only right to put a, a case against someone if he is using misusing their right. Yes. Next is your copyright. Something about copyright. Don't mention anything about term of protection. Something about copyright. Literature, poem, any dramatic bundle of rights. Yes, Shweta, wow. Books, dramatics, anything which can be registered under copyright. Copyright, yes, original literature. Next thing, let's talk about something about plant breeders. Something about plant breeders. Something about plant breeders. Yes, it is a farmer's right. Yes, trees and vines, one other category. New variety of plants, agriculture, plants, right? Yes. Basically, amazing. Something about traditional knowledge, my dear friend. Yes, Dr. Shrikan. Yes, Neeraj. 
Yes, Sanjay. Yes, yes. Amazing, amazing. Sorry, I'm I'm only referring you to the first name. If I don't know how senior are to you are to me, so I'm just referring your first name. Sorry for sorry for it. So something about traditional knowledge. Yes, TKDL. That that's a website where you can refer it. Uh, and TKDL is maintained by whom? Can someone say that? TKDL is maintained by whom? Yes, Sangeeta. Yes, 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 Sanjay. Yes, amazing. CSIR. Yes, under the ministry. Amazing. Uh, the last one is semiconductor, semiconductor integrated circuit layout design. Some, something about that. The last type. Semiconductor integrated circuit layout design. Ah, it could be analog. It could be digital. Yes. Yeah. Yes. A layout of transistors, circuit layout designs, counter chips. Yes. Yes. Amazing. Amazing. So for semiconductor integrated circuit layout design, what is the term for protection? Last question. For semiconductor integrated layout design, what is the term for protection? Amazing, Dr. Kaveri. Wow, very fast. Yes, Sudesh. Yes, yes, amazing. Yes, Dr. Rajendra. Wow. Yes, Malvika. Yes, yes, Raj. Yes, yes, Radham. Amazing, amazing. So. For this, 121 FAQs have been generated for all the types of IPR. So all your queries with this, they should get cleared off. If even if it doesn't, I'll just share my all my uh, details with you at the end of the session. You can connect to me as said by Dr. Vishal. Okay. So with this, all the 121 FAQs, trust me, everything will get cleared. So that's something very commonly asked question for for all the types of IPR. Okay. So our next agenda, next one hour, will be spending on the patent, basic Indian patent filing. The process of application for Indian patent filing, and I'll be displaying your 60 plus design patent for your reference, just to show you how easy it is. Only thing is that we don't we don't enter into the segment, but just the images is only for your motivation. Okay, so how simple simple designs can be are patented in uh, in India or in abroad. Okay, so with this, uh, we'll take we'll take a short break uh, for three minutes. Okay, so that you can just fresh up yourself because. The next part is a little more intense compared to the previous part. The previous part was just an overview about all the IPR, right? So that we should know ki what are the types of IPR, because I don't want me to for, uh, force you like new nee, go for only for patent. There are various type of IPR which even you can go for. It depends on the interest of a particular person, right? So the next next session will be only focusing on the patent for next coming one hour. So completely with that, I'll that I'll make sure with this next coming one hour, uh, I'll. Uh, you will completely understand the complete process of the patent and the government of India, from the filing till the grant stage. Complete process. That is my assurance. So I've just uh, compiled it because even this part is very, 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 very intense. In fact, for especially for patent, even the government of India have uh, have made hundred hundred questions of FAQs questions so that they can clear all your doubts. Even in the previous case, I have made almost that. There are 47 different FAQ question on patent, so that all the doubts could be cleared. Everything in case of patent, okay. So uh, I, we have more three. Like we'll, it's 12, 12, 13. So we can start at 12, 16. So you can fresh up yourself. So in that period, we can start immediately. Sorry, I I, I went like beyond my time. Uh, like 13 minutes. My schedule was still only 12, 12 o'clock for this particular part. So I think I think we 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 will extend our session. Like it will be like. 113 or 114. So sorry for the inconvenience for it. I just need more 13, 14 minutes of yours. So next three minutes, you can just you can just brush up yourself. Any doubts? If it is not clear, trust me, I I am very active on uh, this thing mail ID. So anything anything you need from my end, I'll I'll be very happy for it. And if even if I don't know, I'll just study it back and I'll get back. I'll reply you back for it. That is my responsibility.
Uh, yes, sir. Dr. Vishal, sir, common queries of faculty members, how to convert project idea. Yes, yes, it will be covered in this. There is one slide which is completely for that. Well, what are the three different criteria where, where the faculty have to judge themselves that it, that it can be patented or not? Research papers versus patent, patent sir. So patent is something uh, extremely like beyond the level of research paper any any time. The only thing is that the time duration for a patent it takes huge time. Like uh, it like minimum two and a half years to at least for four years of time. So the patience level should be very high when you talk about patent. But once you make a patent, uh, you have a better economic benefits compared to research paper. Any time, any day. So the answer is yes. Patent is not good, but it is excellent compared to research paper because it gives you a better economic benefits compared to a research paper. Uh, yes, when you talk about your prototype, yes, it can be applied for it or under patent design. Yes, Neera. Uh, Uh, difference between the applicant and the inventor in the patent. Okay, done. Sure. We'll be talking about the assignee. We'll be talking about the uh, patentee as well. Uh, Ritika, ma'am, the complete. Uh, what are the who are the, who are the person into the patent offices? What are the roles? In fact, even we'll be learning other patent offices also. Uh, what are the roles when you talk about the patentee as well? Okay. So I think it's 12 or 19, we'll start with the session. So the best way to predict the future is to invent it. Simple. So uh, we'll start with the basic definition related to the right of a patent. Patentee has got many rights, like he can license his invention, he can commercialize it, he can assign it to someone. That owner is basically called a patentee. So Dr. Vishal, like I used to about the research paper and patentee, in with that case, he cannot commercialize it in that in that level as compared to a patent. In that also, also he cannot assign that right to someone else. In case like in case of patent, you can assign the right to someone else also. A patent can be applied by many people. It can be a true or first inventor. If he does not have knowledge about the Indian patent law, so what he will do, he will either hire a patent attorney general or a patent agent who can prosecute the application and proceed with the application on his behalf. Now, what else he can do? Uh, he can assign his invention to someone. When someone is going to assign the invention, he will completely transfer all the rights of invention like licensing, commercializing, manufacturing, exporting, importing into that assignee. So we understood what is patenting, what is assigning. Right, so assigning something when all the rights from the patentee is given to someone, so that is no, nothing but an assignee. So that person will be called an assignee to whom all the rights are assigned. That assignee will pay a lump sum amount or a huge amount to the patent owner. Now all the rights are given to the assignee. Now the license is like if you are going to license to someone, then you are just giving the title of invention for a particular period of time for example how we rent our house right similarly it goes with this so licensing similarly like if i am if i if we we all are inventor right so we we license our invention for a particular period of time to a third person so that is the basic difference between a licensee and an assignee in assignee the complete rights is given to a th some third person so they are categorized as an assignee in licensee it is go it is given for only for a period, particular period of time then you can take it back, that invention, but uh, it depends on the terms and conditions. Then you can license an invention in two modes. One is the exclusive mode and one is the non-exclusive mode. Okay. Let's say, so when you talk about the exclusive mode, these licenses will be able to exclude all others from carrying out activity specified in the contract that you might have signed it at the time of giving the right to him. If he has given the right of manufacturing, then that license is exclusive license. No one can manufacture from now onwards. 
even he can exclude the patenty you heard it right my dear friends even he can exclude the patenty also in exclusive mode in this kind of license he can exclude all others even the patenty can be excluded so now when you talk about the non exclusive license it is a beneficial license like you can assign to many people like you can assign to uh, for example three people licensee a who can only manufacture it licensee b who can only commercialize it licensing e who can only do, do the import and export of your product now you will be getting the royalty from all the three sources and no one also can exclude you from manufacturing it in any territory or he can exclude you in any of the activity so in case of earning royalty you got it right so in case of royalty which will which is much beneficial exclusive or non exclusive but obvious non exclusive right so in non exclusive is better in terms of exclusion but in case of infringement exclusive is much better than a non exclusive why because in that case in exclusive all the activities will be carried out only by one person right because only he only he has the right to manufacture to product to do the import import everything he has only right for it so anything goes wrong so he'll be the sole responsible for any type of infringement and if the product is leaked or any the manufacturing funda has been leaked then he'll also suffer a lot with you so that is in case like in case of infringement exclusive is much better but in case of economic benefits non exclusive is much better now in non exclusive mode like people can transfer ideas they can sell it to someone wrongfully because you are giving license to many people right at the same time and we'll not be able to keep a track of that thing so for example if you're staying in jammu and like and if you're giving a right to someone in uh, like in south right and if you have already given right to in all the states so it become difficult to track it key where the information have been leaked from which state or from which vendor or from which uh, licensee so this is all about the basic definition which are going to see the related to the right of the patenting okay before this i'll take you a, a good example uh, with the current example at this moment since this webinar is going in at delhi uh, we'll talk about the id delhi id delhi have recently developed an uh, okay, kit for a uh, testing for uh, this thing uh, for covid 19 right uh, i was reading an article for about it so after when the id delhi got a uh, like uh, uh, approval for the government of india icmr so at that time at that time like id delhi didn't went into exclusive mode they went into a non exclusive mode they didn't give the license to a one vendor or one manufacturer they gave the license into a non exclusive mode they invited people from all the manufacturing sectors so there were like 40 plus manufacturing sectors which are applied to id delhi so after the screening they in at the initial first round they had selected three people so that is something known as a non exclusive mode and also id delhi had kept a terms and condition that you cannot sell our kit more than 500 rupees so that is something like even uh, it is giving the right and also that they cannot exclude id delhi if it could have gone into an exclusive mode they could have also excluded id delhi also right so that is one of the recent example to understand what is an exclusive mode one what is a non exclusive mode of patent so next slide i'll tell you about the authority that will read and onwards like you will read now and onwards that who is going to file a patent and where you have to file a patent okay so next thing is completely related to your patent office so i hope you got the point for licensee you got the point for assignee you got the point for patentee and what is exclusive and non, what is non exclusive mode okay so before going to the patent office i'll tell you about the uh, how the patent office really functions okay uh, i'll i just need this a uh, few questions on it on the previous slide what do you mean by a patentee my dear friends what do you mean by a patentee anyone yes vinita appreciate your answer owner of a patent what do you mean by a, a licensee yes ritika you are perfectly right yes monica dr manoj yes what do you mean by a licensee 
yes dr rajendra sir uh, sir jeet said sabrij kaur said ki who want to want to use a patent okay so it could be for a limited period of a time that is something known as a license yes dr manoj yes ritika amazing amazing team amazing amazing crowd so next we we can go for what do you mean by an assignee who takes the permission to use the concept yes dr manoj what do you mean by an assignee new owner yeah in other words you can say that yes dr ravindran yes the right of the patent is completely transferred yes oma yes you are right the right of patent has been completely transferred from patent to an assignee and the next question is when you talk about the economic benefits okay so in an economic benefits which mode is better exclusive mode is better or non exclusive mode is better in terms of patent in terms of patent right to be very specific and amazing 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 and the same question related to the previous one i may talk about the infringement and to avoid any infringement which mode is better exclusive mode is better or non exclusive mode is better to avoid infringement wow amazing amazing all are with us so let's go let's let's understand the patent office and the related definition in patent office uh, now there are like several authorities in the patent office patent office is basically a place where you can go and file your application the office is completely responsible handling your application receiving your application giving you stamps telling you what objection have been raised what application is allowed or not if you can file the application or not if your application is correct or not they are responsible for all the matters related to application so if you really want to file an application you can go to patent office the patent office is situated at four different parts of india that is uh, delhi uh, north india one is kolkata east india mumbai west india chennai south india so these are the four different parts of india one is delhi north india Kolkata as East India, Mumbai, West India, Chennai, your South India. Now the head office here is in Mumbai Patent Office. And these are, there are like these are the four offices divided according to the jurisdiction, so that people from so that the people from the north can file in Delhi, that people from east can file in Kolkata, people from west can file in Mumbai, people from south can file in Chennai. So this is the complete structure of the Patent Office. So you can talk about the authority of the patent office. One authority is examiner, that is responsible for examining the application. He will check all the prior arts, like prior arts basically is the state of art or the work that has already been done in a particular field. So document containing that work will be a prior art. So the examiner will check all those prior arts. he will check the procedure formalities are completed or not further he will also see if any objection has been raised or not in the application he will look after all those things he will complete his duty and transfer the application to the controller in short the controller is like something the boss for a patent office the controller will perform the final check on the application whether the application is objectionable or not or it should go to the state away to the grant stage or some amendment are required amendment are some changes like if some spelling is wrong or some subject matter is inappropriate or your invention is describing the subject wrongfully anything it can be my dear friend controller has many powers for you you should know that controller is the highest authority who can either grant the patent or completely reject the patent controller can give opportunity of hearing to any of the applicant at any stage of the prosecution so at this moment we have discussed three we have discussed what is controller we have discussed about the examiner we have discussed about the patent office right so now we should talk about the patent agents 
patent agent basically they are not the government authorities let's be very clear they are not government authorities but there are private workers who represent the application of the people in front of controller we can hire a patent agent or a patent attorney we can or, or else we can file separately it is not compulsory to hire a patent agent or a patent attorney we can also file separately we can go and address a case but if you have an agent or patent attorney with you my dear friend you can do it in a much more organized form since they are completely aware of the law there is an exam being conducted by indian government that is a patent ex agent examination now a register is maintained there the patent agent number all details identification are maintained it is maintained by the controller this register is different from that of the patent register because in this register all the matters related to patent are written so if you are going to assign to someone then that thing will be written if you are going to license it to someone even that thing will be written into the register if you are filing invention outside india after filing in india there even that thing will be written so all the matters which are going to affect your patent application or the granted patent those matters will be written in that register and that register is basically maintained by the controller so this is how the functioning goes in the patent office and these register are maintained just like we maintain our register i have also uh, written about one more thing that is nothing but opposition board in the slide opposition board is a board that constituted in the patent office itself in a in the case where the opposition comes if the opposition comes after the grant of patent if he saying he no this should not be granted it is come it is conflicting with my patent with my idea he will get a benefit of my my economic benefit will be transferred to him if you grant this patent then this type of board is constructed to re examine the application to understand what was lacking in the decision of controller if any so this is about the patent office administrator and all the authority over there so this is how the functioning goes out so in the next slide i'll tell you about the different court different court where you can appeal so if you have if like if you feel you know the grant of the patent which was granted it should not be granted it is against my novelty then you can appeal in that particular court so before going to the different kind of court let's understand let's let's recap with few the points could you help me could you tell me what is what is an examiner what is the role for the examiner what is the role for the examiner yes uh, neeraj had a question ki how that can be uh, neeraj uh, the examiner have a different panel of experts with with your expertise so it depends upon your content so according to that the exam uh, that that uh, that your document is given to that particular examiner of the expertise so they have the expertise for all the different domains for it don't worry about it and there are three different criterias where they check your patent that it should be granted or should not be granted the three different steps where uh, they will tell you ki yes uh, uh, even that that can be checked by the faculty also before applying for the patent if it if it satisfying the three different criteria that will be discussing further so at this moment yes examiner wow amazing so next one is uh we will talk we'll talk about uh, the patent office how many patent office are there in india oh amazing 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 so could you help me uh, uh for north india jurisdiction where is the patent office amazing east india amazing 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 west india and south india wow let's say uh, with this uh, we'll go for the what is the role for the opposition board role of the opposition board what is the role for the opposition board that means if there is any claim after post post grant so that 
that board is formed so that it can uh, it can help the opposition as well as the patent who is being granted so they, they could resolve the issue okay uh, tell me uh, is the patent agent a government employee is a patent agent a government employee okay is a patent attorney is a government employee okay next thing uh, do you really need a patent attorney or patent agent is it compulsory to have them to file a patent or to represent your patent application Doctor, there are various steps for it. One is one is your when you initially file it. After that, uh, uh, with all the queries, when it is there is no queries for it, it gets published. After publication, you have to apply for the examination. I'll tell you the further the complete process of the filing till grant in the further slide. Amazing. The last thing, uh, what do you mean by controller? The highest authority. Amazing, amazing. So let's go with this uh, with the different kind of quotes where you can appeal, where you can appeal for if you if, if you are not satisfied with the decision of the controller, then where you can appeal for it. In case of the patent, you can approach the highest author, highest the court of the country, which is the Supreme Court, or the lowest court of the country. It completely depends on your case. According to the law, you can go to any court. Now, first thing is that you go and file your application in patent office. You can file offline or you can either file online. Both options are available at this moment. Now, the patent office will examine your application and that patent office will give your examination report in which either your application can be passed or you will find some objection raised by the controller. Those objection either I can rectify or basically change it or then file that particular thing again in the patent office. You can say, I have done the amendment accordingly. Now, if the controllers and you think if this refusal was unnecessary and you think that I should appeal somewhere and this is not the right decision, so you can go to the appellate board in such cases. Appellate board is a court where you can file appeal related to the opposition or the decision by the controller. You can file this kinds of appeal. In Trademark Act 1999, in Section 83, that appellate board has been constructed, dates and formations, all the details have been mentioned in the Trademark Act 1999. It's not mentioned in the Patent Act, my dear friend, but the Section 116 and Section 117 of Patent Act 1970, there are several things written about the appellate board. They have discussed who should be the member of appellate board and so on. There must be a chairman and other members. How they are, how how they should be elected, and who who will be who will be electing them, and what are the what are the what are the rights of the appellate board? Only section from the particular section should come to the appellate board. Like for example, uh, section eighty four, section of compulsory licensing. In that case, we can go to the appellate board. Then, if you are not satisfied with the appellate board, you can move to the civil court or tesildar or sub judge, where you can demand for the justice. And if you're still not satisfied, then you can move to the high court. Basically, high court is a court of a particular state like Delhi high court, Mumbai high court and so on. Every state have, have, has a different high court, right? Matters related to the state can go to high court. So basically in a state, the highest authority is the high court judge. Still, if you're not satisfied and the matter has become bigger and bigger, then you can go to Supreme Court, which is the highest court of the country. So this is was all about the court where you can appeal and find an application in the different courts. You have got lots of, lots of, lots of opportunities, my dear friend, if you are not satisfied with the decision of the controller. So you have various places where you can appeal and still go for it. That is the different forms of court which we have recently seen for it. Next is your priority. So let's understand what do you mean by this. Very, very, one of the important section for it. So understand about it. 
okay so now when i talk about the priority you must be aware that in india we file we follow first to file system so we'll understand what do i mean by first to file system let's discuss this with an example see if i'm doing a work on computer technology and i belong to the company apple suppose someone from somewhere are working in the same technology well in that which we were working in apple and suppose if apple has started the work before but it didn't go to the patent office and claimed its right for that invention so what will happen someone been before than apple he started claiming its right but he had started it very late than apple but the first to file system is followed in india if that someone is samsung so samsung fi filed its first in india because it because it's a big headache for the authority to come to a conclusion who filed first or who started the invention first and who didn't so finally to avoid all this confusion they made a concept of first to file so the person having the earliest filing date will be the owner of the right so this is the earliest filing date which is called as a priority date from there you can claim the priority of your application that you had done the work first that priority is only useful in this cases but again if i talk about the convention convention is a group of countries who agree to have a single filing system so now i'll just uh, put few questions against it uh, if my if my invention is not complete my dear friend okay if my invention is not complete can i file a patent application yes or no what do you feel mobile app content will have a copyright man at this moment we don't we, we cannot directly patent the codes we can patent the, we can patent the flow even if my like invention is incomplete can i file an application yes or no so even if my patent is incomplete so like apple started the work earlier and it knew ki no this is something innovation and they could really get a patent for it but it wait, it waited to file a patent application but samsung uh, like started it later later than later than apple but initially it filed an application so that application is known as a provisional application my dear friend so in terms of provisional application you only need two things one is that you need abstract one is that you need a drawing with these two things you can directly file a provisional application and what is the time duration do we do we need to complete that we we get almost 12 months of time to complete a provisional application like from provisional to complete application we we get almost 12 months of time but once we file that application and later on we complete after 8 months or 10 months the filing date is very very important with which we re, we recently so that is nothing but like a priority date that is earliest to filing system because after that if someone have already filed it but we have already filed earlier than him so we'll get a we'll get a better advantage than him simple as that So that is something known as a provisional uh, application. But when you talk about your complete application, my dear friends, your complete application claims are mandatory. That is the most important thing. Claims are mandatory. It is very very important. So uh, further, when we move about the convention, we were talking about the convention. So convention is a group of country who agree to a single filing procedure and some common protocols. They will follow a unique or a single process to file the application. any application will be recognized in all those countries whether it is up to those countries who want to go into that convention or not now let me tell you one thing my dear friends there is no uh, procedure till yet with a single application you can get patent in all the countries there is no application at, uh, as of now okay so like there is two things one is either you can go with the convention group i will tell tell you further what is that second is either whichever country you want a patent for it Uh, which you want to do a business for it you can have, you have to file a separate application for that particular country there is no such one uh, like one application where you can get patent for all the countries nothing such such that as of now now i know if, now if like india will become a member of some convention then the india will be called as some convention country so this is what a convention country is so if an indian applicant file an application through which he wants his application to get recognized 
that application will become like will be convention conventional application now the international application is like a pct application that is a, a patent cooperation treaty now you can easily make out pct is again a convention group under which many countries have signed and can which 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 like which have formed a group so that we can take a benefits of it how like pct group has 148 member countries okay so with the pct application if that application is approved then you can easily get a patent accepted in 148 countries there is one more convention group known as a paris convention in which there are 176 countries again if your application get accepted at the paris convention so you can get your patent registered at 176 countries so that is an advantage like it saves your time so you don't have to go and apply individually this convention helps you get your patent in different countries as well so you can just file in wipo that is a world intellectual property organization you can file a pct application with a ro 101 form and you can let the wipo know that you can that you are interested in the pct application or you are interested in the uh, paris convention application so that you can easily get 148 countries for in the pct either you can get 176 country in paris convention so i hope you have understood what is the priority and how do we claim it i hope the concept is clear now okay so with, with understanding the priority date so with before we move further so let's put up let's put up some few questions for it uh in case of india in india when i say about first to file system okay uh what do what do i mean by this can can someone explain in one or two lines ritika i'll answer your question further don't worry i'll put up three criteria where you can judge your product if the if you satisfy that three criteria you can you can easily do the patent don't worry i'll be coming to that slide three criteria where you can check you can patent or you you cannot patent okay am i audible now dr kaveri okay uh ritika is saying is there any any place where you can go and find file see the existing patent in india in a given domain yes yes you can i'll be coming to that point there are two i'll be giving you two links where you can check it all the patents don't worry ritika that i'll be coming to that point yes your answer will be satisfied we must have a priority date prior to a completer yes sanjay sir yes appreciate that is the point that is the point for it so uh, when further which further will move to that uh, before going to the further, like, uh, can you tell me uh, there was uh, an application which I told you? Uh, if you want to file an application for PCT in WIPO, what is the application number? If I want to file an application in PCT, that is the number of countries, uh, Dr. Kaveri. That is the number of countries in PCT. I said, ki, what is the form number? If I want to file a PCT application in WIPO, what is the form number? I had said that form number. Yeah, there are different forms for it where you have to fill fill it. I'll talk Amardeep, I'll be talking about the document, how you have to maintain the document for the patent. No, that is that, that was section section 84. Uh, form number. That was if you want to file a PCT application, the form number was RO101 under WIPO. That is World Intellectual Property Organization, my dear friend. So again, last question to you. Uh, the num uh, what is the number of countries there in the Paris Convention? Number of countries? Yes, amazing, amazing. Amazing. So let's go with this. Let's go for the next slide. So next slide, I think the Ritika, your answer will be Ritika and Dr. Vishal's answer should be get cleared. As Dr. Vishal said, he tell the faculties how, how, like, how they can really judge if they can patent or not. It's very, very simple. If these three things can satisfy, satisfy your product you can go for patenting if these three things cannot then you have to rework on it trial and error and make sure that these three things have to be satisfied if you can satisfy these three things you can go for patenting my dear friend this is the heart of the today's uh, webinar for the patent if i'm talking about so let's start with the first thing novelty so your application should be new suppose like if i say that i have invented some new transparent watch and now it is a now it is a computer 
you can operate as a computer also but what's concept is already known in the market right but the way i have applied the concept the digital thing in the watch the application is new the complete product is not new the only the application is new i have used a small chip in the watch so that it can act as a computer and it has got a functionality that is a transparent also i had put lot of my intellect in that so that it can look transparent attractive and function like computer now that the computer is on your wrist so this thing is something and that you can say it's novelty this is just an example for you to understand it's not like that you need to completely discover a new thing like you have to make a time machine and so on nothing like that my dear friend if you really want to get patent it's not like yet uh, you have to understand the application of the patent should be new if you invent a fantastic excellent even if you cannot make sure your application should be new that will make you qualify for getting a patent if the novelty is cleared let's go for the next step next we're going to talk about inventive step now if i talk about the inventive step you have to bring some economic or technical factor some economic or technical factor for it thing which is already done in the market cannot be repatented my dear friend you cannot repatent a wheel but if i talk about a drug for cancer which is already available for approximately like 8000 rupees per month for a cancer patient in the market suppose you make a drug suppose for example i am a pharmacist okay and i make a drug for a cancer with different composition but with the same price 8000 rupees per month you do i do not show like any efficiency or any enhancement in the result or any economic factor is also not shown or not change in fact and it is just treating the cancer the same way the previous one then why the why when the people will buy a product and why it should get patent it's like you have used your intellect to use a different chemical composition that doesn't mean you will get patent you have to show some economical factor than the previous one if you have some experiment re that resulted into a less money or particularly got less side effect like it won't kill all the cells in the body it will only kill the cancer cells something like that so this is how the patent examiner will judge your inventive step and patent examiner well they have an experience over it so they have an expertise for different different kind of fields fields for it so don't worry about it cow because this is something by reading the article they will come to know how inventive i it is not it has to have a some technical benefits it have to have a some technical factor over it and the third step is you are capable of industrial application i'll say a golden statement for this that for the third it must be useful for human kind indirectly or indirectly it shouldn't be such an application that it does not give benefits to human kind it should have some industrial process involved like alkalization or you can say any chemical process or anything suppose if i bring an invent invention and i say that you can hypnotize a person that is not an invention my dear friend this is not made from industrial process and it is just a thing to harm human being it won't help in any kind of procedure but if i say i have used this to hypnotize using the clock that moves to and fro and it will help a person who is suffering from schizophrenia suppose it will help him to cure his disease so you can get this registered so you just have to twist something just clap few thing to have a new application so this is something which will be useful for mankind and it also has some industrial process so that is there is the way where you can go for patentability so my dear colleagues friends whenever if you are doing some project with your students with your researcher with your research friends make sure whenever you do a project make sure you keep a you keep a, a deadline for it you have to achieve the novelty for it in either in application either in form of new product have to have an inventive step for it have to satisfy the capable of industrial application for it it should be helpful for human mankind and directly or indirectly in that way, in that way so once you satisfy both with these three things then only my dear friends you should go for the patent application unless and until my dear friends if you don't satisfy this three application don't go for a patent application at least for a patent utility patent for it design you don't need any claims for it you only need the look and feel for it for patent design 
but when you talk about pay, utility patent where you have to put all your claims everything so these three things have to be satisfied because when there is an examination they'll be reviewing these three things majorly so if you satisfy these three things and if you defend these three things in front of the examiners trust me you will be granted a patent for it now with this uh, let's understand the basics of indian patent filing like earlier i told you how to file where to file what are the offices and everything now you need to know the integrity of this thing like you need to know the fee structure the jurisdiction of filing you need to know the address for the service when i say the address for the service is something when you when you uh, fill the application form the address which you write the indian address which you will be writing it for the communication that is something known as address for communication so address for service so are there two application for it i we have already discussed one is we can go with the provisional application for that we only need two things my dear friends one is the abstract and one is the drawing and for a complete application my dear friends the claims are mandatory further we'll understand what should be the margin what should be the seat, sheets which should be should use for the patent documentation all the formality which have to be followed because otherwise your patent could be rejected with this like uh, dr vishal has said me ki just put a brief overview about the patent uh, fees and structure of, about it a uh, just small presentation on it so these are the forms which you will be you will be filing my dear friends form 1 form 2 form 3 form 5 form 26 don't worry i'll tell you with uh, this forms belongs to which category i'll tell you in the later slides okay so at this moment understand ki you have to file this forms 1 2 3 4 3 5 and 26 okay so they are basically categorized into three different domains okay so uh, when we talk about the recent amendment which was done in february 28 2014 where the fee structure was changed the fees will be paid according to the natural person small entity and other than small entity so now you must be wondering what is the all of the above okay a natural person is some someone who is working in an organization not a particular big firm so a natural person could be you or it could be me there are more two sections one is the small entity and other than small entity so let's learn about the small entity so under the indian patent act 1970 under under rule 2 it's been said that small entity would be divided according to the investment of the firm so here they said if there if there will be a company having investment in goods okay investment in goods around 0 to 25 lakhs so that will be categorized under a micro entity if someone having an investment between 25 lakhs to 5 crores that will be categorized under a small entity if someone having investment between 5 crores to 10 crores then it will be the other than small entity so this is like according to the investment so in according to that they have the, the filings fee structure has been divided for it you should know here that uh, like someone can switch off his uh, mic please there is a lot of disturbance okay prabha madam can you please switch off your mic uh, uh, a sincere request if someone can switch off the mic please okay you should know here that uh, if if it is further divided for it uh, there are two categories which we have already seen in the trademark right there is service category and there is a good cat goods category okay what if if the if the company is into a service category if the company is into service category if the expenditure is between 0 to 10 lakhs so that comes under a micro entity for a service category if the service if the if the expenditure is between 10 lakhs to 2 crores that comes under the small entity earlier we spoke about all the companies for a goods category now we are speaking about all the companies if they are in the service category so it depends upon the when talk about the goods it is all about the expenditure when talk about the uh, uh, in, sorry it is all, goods it is all about the investment when you talk about the service it is all about the expenditure so the, it depends upon how how your expenditure are varying it depending on that your company profile will be, will will be varying it depending on that your fee structure will keep on varying it as we have already seen my dear friends there are two different ways where you can file a patent one is through e filing the fee structure is as follows okay and one is through your offline filing okay a government is really promoting for a of uh, e filing system and also uh, they have kept the fees for e filing 10% lesser than that of the physical filing so that is the there is also economic benefit if you go for a e filing also so that's the structure for a e filing compared to a physical filing for a natural entity for a small for a other than small entity we basically lie under a natural entity unless until 
if we are working with a startup or we are working with a company for a research product, then we, then we could lie under small entity or we could lie other than small entity. It depends upon your patent. It depends upon who are involved into the patent. Okay. So this is what the jurisdiction for filing is all about. We have already seen that our jurisdiction is divided into different area, right? So jurisdiction is the area of the patent office which you are going to file. Now this jurisdiction depend on the area in which you live, area which you belong, the area which you domicile for, or you can say which you have located or where you have developed your business, or you can also say like you can say a principal place for your business. So in case if you are an Indian applicant. You can choose the patent office according to the following jurisdiction, depending upon your address for service, depending upon where you stay. But if you are a foreign applicant, the jurisdiction will be decided according to your interest. Like the address for service in the application would be a would be a jurisdiction. For example, uh, you would be putting an Indian Indian address over there, so that where 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 you could be communicated. So depending on that, your jurisdiction can be decided. As you can see on the screen, the patent office along with the territorial jurisdiction is mentioned. In Rule Four of Indian Patent Act, my dear friend, jurisdiction has been discussed. Jurisdiction is very important, and once decided, can cannot be changed. But if the controller wishes to transfer the application, he can transfer the application to another patent office also. One more important thing that date of filing, very very important thing, my dear friends, the date of filing in case of e-filing will be considered as a submission date electronically. Date of filing for e-filing will be a, the submission date electronically, but in case of registered post, the physical filing. If you are registering the post, okay, the date of filing won't be the date where it is received by the patent office, but it will be when it is received by the concerned department of the patent office. So that will be considered as a date of filing. So as we know, in India, we follow first to file system. So it is always better to have a e-filing so that we can get the immediate date as we submit the uh, submit a form. So the electronically that will be a date of filing, right? But if we post it, uh, it will take a longer time, right? It is not about the when the it will receive by the patent office, but when it is received by the concerned department of the patent office, that will be considered as a date of filing. So it is always better to have a e-filing system. So with this, a uh, few of them had a doubt ki, uh, how to file a patent, what are the documents we have to maintain. So this slide will be mentioning about, will be talking about all the complete document. What have to be maintained? Complete technical de details about the document. So let's go for it. Now we all know that we have an option of submission, right? Either we can have a provisional application, either we can have a complete application. So my 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 question is to you, my dear friends. When I talk about the provisional application, what are the two things we have to submit for provisional application? Yes, in case of individual filing, is natural. Yes, yes, Ratika. So when you talk about the provisional application, what are the two things we have to submit, my dear friend? Amazing, Ritika, very fast. Abstract and drawing, amazing, Monica, very fast. And falling to the above question of the provisional application, for a complete application, what is mandatory? Amazing, Meena, very nice. Jaya Chitra, amazing. Yes, Monica, the claims are mandatory if you want to complete your application. That is needed for it. Okay, so with this, let's go a further detail when you talk about the documentation, how to create documentation for your patent application. So if you are submitting the provisional application, only drawings and abstract can be submitted. But if you are submitting a complete application, the claims are mandatory as been said by you. So now let's focus on the margin and dimension and numbering of the lines. So one thing is that you need to file a document in A4 sheet. The dimension should be of 29.7 centimeter by 21 centimeter. So I hope we understand understood that 29.7 centimeter is the length and 21 centimeter is the breadth. For the margin, top and left should be of 4 centimeter and bottom and right should be of 3 centimeter. Your printed language could be of Hindi or English since both are the official filing language for Indian patent office. You also need to put stress on the characters because the character should be of 0 0.28 centimeter high and should be in the dark ink. The line spacing should be of one and half. Otherwise, the document will look really mess. It is also it is also mentioned in the act that the paper should be strong, flexible, white, smooth, non-shiny, strong, flexible, 
white, smooth, non-shining. These things are written in the section under Rule 9 of Indian Patent Act. One more thing you should remember that you should number each and every sheet of the specification in Arabic numerals. It should be on the bottom center of the page on every sheet. So if I talk about the numbering on the lines on a particular sheet, every fifth line on a particular sheet should be numbered. Multiples of five, in fact, we can talk about. On the left hand side, it should be numbered. So the sequence should be you will be writing the fifth line as number one, then tenth line as number two, then fifteenth line as number three, then twentieth line as number three. If you go to next page, again you will start. Fifth line as number one, tenth line as number two, fifteenth line as number three, twentieth line as number four, twenty-fifth line as number three. Again, if you, when you move to next page, again you will start in that way. On the left hand side, you have to write. So, like every multiple of five will be written in the document. So, when you sign the application, and if that thing is not in handwriting or print, then you must file a transcription in Hindi or English and that too in capital letters. And if the controller requires any other document, then you should submit in the limited time frame given by the controller. And you need to specify the nationality and other details in the application of the form. So, this is all about the few important points about how to maintain a document for your patent. So, with this, uh, can we have a few questions on it? Um, in the earlier uh, part, we discussed about the jurisdiction fees, okay? So, can you tell me which which filing is much cheaper? E-filing is cheaper or a physical filing is cheaper? Done. How much percent E-filing is cheaper than the physical filing? Dr. Ravendra, I have been worked on the sports and games uh, on the IPR section. I am extremely sorry, sir. I cannot give up. A proper comment on this and uh, this category for sports and games. Sorry for it. So next thing, when you talk about e-filing, uh, how the date of filing has been uh, judged in e-filing procedure? In e-filing, how is the date of filing being judged? It is a submission date electronically, which is which appears when you submit it. Extremely good. When you talk about your physical filing, how is the date of filing, the data priority, data priority has been decided in the in case of physical filing? Yes. Yes, Dilpreet Singh, when it is received by the concerned department, when you talk about the physical file. Dr. Manoj, as of now, the uh, any software cannot be patented under government of India. But uh, there are ways where you can smartly, where we can smartly do it, the algorithm as well, where we can have a slight combination of hardware and software, then, then we can go for it. We cannot directly patent the complete software for it. We have to, we, we need to have a combination of hardware and software for it. As of now, to my best of my knowledge, we cannot completely uh, patent a software application. And when you talk about the documentation, what is the, what, what should be the she, uh, sheet size for uh, filing the doc document of patent? Okay. Uh, feature for the uh, sheets, how the sheet should be. It should be white, smooth, strong, someone said flexible. It should be a non shiny paper. What should be the size of the document? The length and breadth for it. Should be 29.7 yes and with that uh, last question for it what should be the size of the character how high should be the size of the character size of the character size of the character 
zero point two eight centimeter high. Yes. Next thing, uh, we have to we have to number each and every uh, this thing uh, each and every page, right? So it should be in which numerals? Every sheet should be every sheet should be numbered, right? So it should be in which numerals? Arabic numerals. On every sheet, every multiple of dash should be numbered. On every sheet, every multiple of dash should be numbered. Amazing, amazing. Margin of top and left left should be of dash centimeter. Margin of top and left should be of dash centimeter. I'm focusing on this parameter because this is something st very strictly followed by the patent office, my dear colleagues. You might feel very silly, but this is something very strictly we have to follow it. And for the bottom and right should be of dash centimeter. Amazing, amazing. So with this, like these are the following types of the patent application. Just for an overview for it, ordinary application, convention, PCT, divisional, and additional. Additional is something once you once you file a patent for it, and you you feel that after three four years you already got a grant for a patent, and if you feel that you are still working on it, and if you feel that nay even this this new part could also be added to that patent, that is something you can apply it additional with the application for it. So these are the basic Indian patent filing forms which we have already seen it. Form number one, that is basically for application for the grant of patent. Form number two, it could be for provisional. Either it could be you can file it for complete depending upon your stage of the uh, innovation. Form number three, statement and undertaking. Form number five, declaration of as to inventorship. So these are the compulsory. Form one, form two, form three, and form five. Form twenty six is not compulsory at all, my dear friend. Okay, you will be requiring only this. Only when, when, if you are hiring a patent agent or patent attorney or someone else who will be representing your uh, your case in front of a controller, only in that case you have to form, you have to uh, fill a form twenty six. If you will be if you will be completely taking care of your own patent, form one, form two, form three, form five is sufficient. And uh, there is one more form if you want to if you want to get your patent published earlier, it is also known as a form nine. So with that uh, you can get your patent published little earlier. If you don't do it, it will take almost like between 12 to 18 months of time maximum. Okay, so once your patent is published, my dear friends, then you can later on file a form known as Form 18. So Form 18 is basically known as uh, uh, that is something a examination request. So once you once that form is accepted, then your examination date has been decided by the controller. Then you have to present your idea in front of examination. So after the examination only, uh, it will be decided that uh, you will be granted a patent or you won't be granted a patent. Or if you are even if you are granted a patent, if you are granted with something, some changes. So that is something completely under after the examination. So this is the complete structure. Form one, application for the grant of patent. Form two, it could be a provisional slash complete specification. Form three, statement under undertaking. Form five, declaration as to inventorship. Form twenty six again it is not compulsory. It is only an authorization to a patent agent or any other person who will be who will be representing your application in front of a controller. And form eighteen. It is for the examination, my dear friends. Okay. For earlier patent, it can be more fees. Yes. If you want an, uh, uh, it, it, you have to, you have to pay urgent in case. Yeah, the fees is little higher. The fee structure, what we have discussed, it was completely for ordinary, ordinary structure. So next question to you, uh, if you can tell me, uh, form three is for what? Form three is for what? No, we have to go for form eighteen. We have to go for the examination. Unless until if we don't pass the examination, the patent won't be granted. Uh, Ritika, form three is for what? Statement undertaking. Amazing. Okay, amazing, amazing, Doctor Manu. And form five. Form five. Form five. Uh, Doctor Vishal, sorry, it's almost one seventeen. I need I need more five minutes. Sorry for extending the time. Fine, sir. Fine, no problem. Uh, form one. Form one is application. Form two.
yeah it could be either a complete either a uh, complete uh, either a, a provisional either a complete application is form 26 is is, is it is it compulsory to file it no. when when form 26 is required when do we require form 26 my dear friends only when will we'll be hiring as dilpreet singh said when we'll be hiring an agent or some other person who can represent our application yes yes doc. yes varun yes neeraj appreciate uh, and uh, if you want to have an early publication okay which form do we have to file it for early publication wow sudanshu very fast amazing amazing dr shrikant ritika dr kaveri amazing dr sanjay amazing richa done and once the once your application has been published my dear friends uh, which form we have to fi file for the examination amazing sudanshu amazing amazing ritika neeraj sanjay dr dr kaveri dr shrika neeraj richa let's go for it so how are patent process and examination in india let's go for it my dear friends so let's understand this complete flow, flow diagram from the filing stage till the grant stage my dear friends so the complete diagram the complete flow how it has been uh, done in Indian under Indian government. Okay, so num stage number one, you file application. Either it could be a provisional, either it could be a complete application. Okay, next stage. So once you do a uh, like uh, complete application, then then it is uh, then it is published. Uh, if you are if you are going with a provisional application, you will be getting a twelve months of time. Within that, you have to uh, complete the claims and everything. Then you can uh, go for the publication stage. And if you want, if you want an early publication, then you already said that form nine is required for it. Okay, so once everything is published, then you can request for the examination. If you want to request for the examination, you only said yes. We'll apply with form eighteen. Wow, let's go for the let's. So we have applied for the examination. So after the examination, the examination formals and substantive everything, you can do it. And then you have to, as a as a inventor, as a owner, you have to answer all the query. Okay, after you answer all the query. The controller and the team, which uh, you are, you'll be facing as a as a examination team. Okay, so they have to uh, they have to provide an answer. Okay, the answer would be two k two in two possibilities. Either they will grant it, either they will reject it. Right, my dear friends. Either the answer would be yes. Either the answer would be no. Okay, so let's be very positive. Since today we have we have we know it. Ki what is IPR? What is the patent filing procedure? Let's be very positive. Let's start with the yes answer. Okay, so let's see what if it is yes. If it is yes, so it is a congratulation to everyone. Your patent is granted. Okay. So if we face the examination, the team says yes, it is unique, it is novel, it is ha it is having an inventor step, it is capable of industrial process, it is helping the humankind directly, indirectly. Yes, it should be granted. So if it is granted, it is kept open for 12 months so that anyone feels you no, know, it should not be granted, or if anyone wants to claim it, so that post grant notification has been open to everyone. So if someone feels you no, know, it should not be granted, I, I will oppose it. If he is opposing it, then in that case, the hearing is made by the, both the parties. Okay. If after the after we after the controller will be hearing both the parties, there will there will be three forms of decision. Okay. Decision number one. Controller will know what we have granted it is is different from what you are expecting it. Okay. So what so no, it should be granted. He is completely against with the opposition. So he'll he'll say you no, know, it should be the grant should be maintained. What will be the second possibility, my dear friends? The control will say no, no. There are something, something you have to amendment, my dear friends. There is something you have to amendment. He is somewhat, he is somewhat right to it. Okay. So something you have to. This is, this is the number point one, two, three, four, so on. You have to do the amendment. You have to do the changes and resubmit it. Then your patent would be granted. Okay. So this is the possibility. Third possibility, we'll see it later on. Let's see what is if, what if, if the answer is, what if, if the answer is no. Okay, if the answer is no, my dear friend, okay, in that case, the patent is refused. As I said, ki, like there are various places where you can appeal it. So you don't have to, like, you don't have to lose hope, right? So if the patent is refused, you can appeal to the appellate board, okay? So appellate board will hear, hear your hearing, they will listen to you, they will feel. If they feel ki, no, the decision taken by the controller is, is not right at all, okay? And in that case, they feel ki, no, you are right, your patent has. All the three things which is required, it is it is not clashing with the prior at also. Then it in that case the appellate board will allow your patent and it will follow the yes procedure. Okay. What if if the appellate board feels ki no, the decision taken by the controller is completely right and we agree to it. So in that case, 
the upgrade board will also reject it. And the third possibility after the controller is that the, it will get rejected. Either he will accept it, either he will amend it, either they will say no, the position who had carried out the point, he is completely right, it should not be done. There is some mistake from our end in the prior art, it should be rejected. If it is rejected, again you can go to the appellate board and you can reapply for it. Okay, so that is the complete process, my dear friends, which happens at the patent office your with, with, with your complete application. So this is the complete application so that you can have a rough idea about it, how exactly your application will be processed under government of India. So this is a complete st short structure. I hope you got a little idea about how it exactly it will be processed. Okay. There are three things where you can really earn your patent because you'll be putting your time, money, everything into it. So by selling a product, either by licensing it or by selling a patent. With this, uh, we'll have a short recap with it, my dear friends. Very fast recap for it. Uh, a patent application can be filed in India by a true or first inventor. Either it can be from the assignee of the inventor. Or it can be a legal representative that he can be a patent agent or patent attorney and so on. Okay. The complete appli patent application contains the title of invention, description of the invention and the claim. When you talk about the only the provisional, it contains two things, abstract and drawing. Indian patent has both the option. Either you can pre-grant opposition, either you can have a post opposition for it. As for the Indian patent at the resident of India, like uh, he can also like without filing in India, he can do it and he can also find some other country, but with, uh, with certain circumstances, he can have to take uh, the permission of the controller. Without that, he cannot do it. He have to, he have to keep them in loop. Our complete patent applications are disclosed like all the, uh, all the invention possibilities, the title, the claims and so on, what we have discussed in the previous slide. The priority is tested by the PCT in terms of the priority date. The right of patent ER, he can sell, he can distribute, he can license, he can assign everything because he is the owner, he is the boss of his product. So the pre-grant, yes, it can be done, even post-grant is possible in India. A position, it can be from any, anyone, even before the application, even after the application, the owner can grant license to anyone because he is the owner, he can sell it. He can grant, he can grant license for a particular period. He can also grant a, a license to many vendors. He can grant license to only for one company. He can grant license to various companies depending upon the exclusive mode, non-exclusive mode. Uh, everything depends upon his choice, okay? So that was a very, very small, very fast recap. So I just want you to enjoy the glimpse of the patent and innovation and get motivated. There will be 60 pair design, okay? So it will, it will, like, it will take hardly two, two minutes, 17 seconds, that's it. Just have a look at the various designs, a very, very simple design, which have been patented. Few designs are very old, few designs are recent, few designs which have made huge money. You will find it very silly, but they have made huge money in it. Very simple, very innovative, the things which we use it in our day to day life. It is all about the approach. As we have already said, it should not be completely like new or something. Even if the application is new, things will really work out. So this is the way you can really guide your students if, if, if you get a very fantastic group of children, if, if they are capable of doing all the, all the three things, having a novelty, having an inventor step, having a capable of industrial process, they can really go for it. You almost end to our presentation, like it will take only three minutes, that's it. Uh, yes, sir, Dr. Shrikant, I'll, I'll do it, sir. Uh, all the, like, 
all the FAQ, all the FAQ questions uh, and uh, the complete like all the forms, form one, form two, form three, form five, form twenty six. Okay, all the soft copy of the form, everything will be shared to you uh, on by the team of by the team of the co college, either by Dr. Vishal sir or other either by the team of the uh, coordinators team. So at least you can have a glimpse over it. It will really help you. I have shared on the WhatsApp group, sir. Okay, sir. Like uh, back the questions which you have shared to me, I have yes. shared on the WhatsApp group. Okay, sir. Further, we'll be having two links as well where Ritika or someone has answered it where we can check our prior arts. So I'll be giving you two links as well. I will also share my uh, PPT with Dr. Vishal sir. Uh, give me give me like uh, three four hours of time. I'll just uh, I'll just share with the I'll just share with Vishal sir as well. So because few things which I went really fast. If you feel free for it, then I'll just share my PPT also with Vishal sir. If any participant have any query remaining, then they can put up on the chat window. Otherwise, we will wind up the session because it is already one thirty and we are getting late for the next session. And uh, Professor Ahmed Noda sir with us, and I request sir to please share a few words. Good afternoon to all of you, Mr. Awab Fakir. Yes, sir. How do you how do you pronounce uh, Mr. Awab? Uh, sir, it is Awab. Awab. Uh, sir, Awab. Yes, sir. Awab, Mr. Awab Fakir, eh? Yes, sir. A very fabulous lecture. So congratulations to you. Thank you so much. I logged in around at uh, eleven five, and it was so mesmerizing that I could not uh, go anywhere and uh, was uh, uh, stick to the your lecture. Wonderful lecture. Uh, thank you so much, sir. Even sir, like I would, I will be really obliged to tell you, sir. It's been one and a half year when you had visited Mumbai. I was one of the attendee where, where we had been to an IIT function in Chembur. So, I, I see. I see that uh, function. Uh, which was the college? Shah uh, Auditorium. Shah and Anchor. Yes, sir. In the auditorium. Shah and Anchor Auditorium. Correct. I was in hurry because I was to take up the flight to back to Delhi. But uh, still, uh, the now the present Vice Chancellor, Mr. Bosle, uh, he is the uh, Vice Chancellor now. At that moment, he was the head of that region of IIT. He requested me to go there. Anyway, so thank you so much. It was a fabulous lecture. Your certificate is here above. From our side, nothing else we can do. I just need and to all my participants, in fact, uh, this lecture which uh, Mr. Abab has uh, delivered is not only a lecture in which he has tried to uh, give us a know-how on uh, how the teacher should file IPR, file patent, and at least the basic information which every teacher, every researcher should have about IPR and patent. This is one aspect, the technical technical aspect. The second important takeaway of this lecture is it was very inspiring to understand the kind of the pedagogy which he has used for particular for this lecture. Uh, had this lecture been in afternoon also, then I would uh, I'm sure none of the participants would have uh, at least gone me, even for a, a half a minute here and there. The way his questions were just maybe three seconds, five seconds, ten seconds. So kept all the participants together. That is the another inspiring uh, pedagogy which all the teachers can take away from their class, and particularly those teachers who, in timetable, always get classes in afternoon, a complete theoretical subject. But the way it has been demonstrated, so the both the aspect, the technical aspect of the subject, and the way the pedagogy has been demonstrated was very inspiring. Thank you so much, Abab. We'll meet again, and thank you so much for having spared your time. And uh, de uh, delivered your uh, uh, this expert talk with all of our participants. Thank, thank you, thank, thank you, Vishal. Over to you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So uh, now I request uh, to all participants to join back back the session by two o'clock because we have already scheduled the next session, and uh, speaker is already waiting 
for the session and thank you very much to avab sir for accepting my request in a just one call that i would like to convene your session you said yes we will do sir sorry and, uh, and i yes sir i now hope uh, i will like to schedule your session in our next fdp which is planned for the june to july that is a two weeks refresher course there will be a uh, participants for multidisciplinary and i would like to schedule your session in that uh, workshop also if you permit thank you sir thank you sir thank you thank you so much for your time thank you